If you enjoy getting a new pizza, sitting down, you're hungry in the end of the day, and you sit down to eat your pizza, and you leave it on the table like this, only to realize a couple seconds later that you have a dog that looks a little bit like this, and you'd like to know how to fix that problem, let me show you a little exercise. So if your dog has this problem, the reason he has this problem is because he lacks what's called impulse control. And so in this video, I'm gonna give you an exercise that's really a, the first clever game that you need to start to practice with your dog to start to help him get this under control. So here's how this works. You take the dog who's obviously excited to eat the pizza and you go to put the pizza on the ground. And the second the dog goes for the pizza, oh, you pick it back up, okay? You wait till the dog sits and then you go to pick it back, put it back down. Pick it back up when he's when he's not when he when he goes for the pizza. <laughs> and you get to about this point. And when your dog's at about this point, you change the game so that the dog has to actually take his focus off of the pizza and he has to actually look at you as if asking for permission. This is the permission principle that really helps this work. And the second phase of this is playing the elevator game where you have the pizza, it's right here. It's super tempting. He's right there. The second he looks at it, you come up. The second he looks away from the pizza, it comes down. And the second he looks at it, oh, it goes away. The second he looks away, it comes down. Oh, he looked at it. It's leaving. When he looks away, it comes down. Good boy, and then you let him have it at the very end. So it's the elevator game. It's just training him that when he wants things that he has, this is the first step where he can't be laser focused in on it. He has to learn that the way he asks for things and starts to ask for permission to have things that he really, really wants is by being more calm before he can have those things that he wants. So try this game out on your dog, and if you're looking for more types of games to teach your dog how to control these types of impulsive behaviors so he can have better manners, manners, check out the link below, and I've got a full course that outlines seven brain games that can help your dog start to control impulses like these so he can have better house manners. So check out that program with the link below, and I look forward to helping you and your dog in the very near future.